these kids do to skip school? Have you ever tried to skip school, Robert? Literally, I was like a super good kid. So there was one time I was like mildly, mildly sick and I pretended I was really sick and I stayed home and I felt really bad about it. So yeah, no. I did that once. I went home with my friend and we were like, we did it. We're skipping school. <laughs> but her mom was home and she was like, guys, back in the car right now. That was my school skipping. What were you trying to do? Stay home and play Super Smash Bros or something? Pretty much, pretty much. Let's look at some other kids trying to be absolute big brain geniuses. geniuses. Boys skipping class in the bathroom, then hearing heels get closer. Oh boy. Oh no. Standing on the toilet. Yo. Be cool, be cool. It's not like the girl teacher is gonna like come in the boys' washroom, would she? No, I don't think that happens. I mean, that never happened to me. Never happened to me at all, but I think that like a lot of horror games have like those footstep noises. I was about to say the exact same thing. I was like, yo, they're playing amnesia right now. So many people have like tried to skip school. Like, let's both go to the bathroom at the same time. And then we're gonna hide in the bathroom. And then you hear those footsteps and you're like, she's coming, she's coming for me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> The teacher is ringing the phone because you skipped school today, so be quiet. No, granddad, you be quiet. I told them you was dead. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> Have you ever tried to like get your parent to lie for you? And like your parents too good of a parent, they're like, no. Oh my gosh. No, I'd get a swift spanking real quick. Really? That would never happen. My parents were not my friend, okay? They were my parent. Okay, that's one way to sneak out. He just jumps out the window. Oh, he yeeted himself, as the children like to say. He what himself? He did the old self yeet. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I feel like the worst you would get if you did this was like an in-school suspension. Or a broken leg. Or a broken leg, yes. Have you ever had an in-school suspension? No, but the closest thing I had, see this, I was a super good kid, but I had one teacher that was super hard on us. We had to write all of our assignments in black pen or blue pen. I wrote it in pencil and I had to go to the office for the rest of the day and rewrite the entire thing in black pen. In what grade? Uh, six. <laughs> what? I didn't start using pens until high school. We had to use black or blue pen. If we used a red pen, no, 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 that's the teacher's pen. And yeah, no, you had to rewrite the entire thing. That seems awfully harsh. Yeah, I never use pens anymore. <laughs> Skip in school in 24. Okay, so this is what we did in 2014. Okay. Yeah, check it out. Just sneaking out. Skipping school in 2020, you just close the window. <laughs> My brother is in school right now and he's like doing it all online. It's hard enough to pay attention in the lecture hall. How do you pay attention if all you have to do is just like, like if you're at home with like your food, your stuff, your games, your phone, impossible. Why would I be trying to do quadratic formula when I've got Roblox on the other tab? That's a fine point. Why go to high school when I can go to Royal High in Roblox? Better start running, running, running. I was running away from my teacher once in the sixth grade. I don't remember why, but I ran up to my sister and I was like, hey, hey, pretend that you're talking to me right now. Pretend that we're like having a conversation and that I didn't know that the teacher was chasing me. I was talking so loud because I was so panicked that the teacher <laughs> like heard the entire thing. It oh was a disaster. Gosh. I think about it and I cringe. Like it is the worst. She lift you up by the ear and is like, you tried to pull a fast one on me. <laughs> I heard that. It reminds me of this, this kid in the first grade, like pulled the principal's pants down during recess and the principal walked in our class, grabbed him by the collar and dragged him to the office. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was a mess. Like, I don't know if like, obviously in 2020, people couldn't do that anymore. That would be all over TikTok. That principal would get fired in two seconds, even though the kid started it. <laughs> hey, positions of authority, they have to take the high ground. You know, you're in high school when? Okay, he's opening up the top. Is this his way of skipping school? Yo! What? Yo, Charlie, come through here, dog! He's done this before. How does he know the way? Dude, you know they've got a TV with Mario Kart on there up there. How <laughs> sick would that be? Yeah, like a little a little hideout up there. Just don't start a campfire and start doing s'mores because you'll set off the alarms and then people will find you. Robert, he gone. He gone. Oh, they're having a party up there. Oh wait, that's the same guy. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, it was a perfect loop, okay? It was a perfect loop. You just watch it 10 times. Like, how much room do they have up there? It's like a clown car. I'm like, wow, 51, <laughs> 52. <laughs> how the heck do you get into college with a caption like that? Bye, California. Hello, San Francisco. Oh, girl. Oh, no. Robert, please explain this for the non-Americans. San Francisco is in California, you big silly goose. <laughs> Teacher. Being oh a streamer my YouTuber isn't a real job. Teachers now, headset and all, <laughs> announcing their retirements. Look at them go. What is up, guys? Welcome to another epic <laughs> math stream. If we can get to 10,000 10, subs in this stream, I'll teach you the quadratic formula. <laughs> yeah, don't forget the super chats. Oh, thanks, uh, Jamie, for the bits. Thank you very much. <laughs> my dad got in trouble for skipping school because the local paper printed this picture of him in 1984. Woo! I'm out of here. This is the epitome of I'm out of here. This would be me and this would be you going, yeah, my, my innocent kid days are over. Do the jump over me. See, I could be that athletic if I didn't have video games growing up. <laughs> How much better coordination would we have if we didn't grow up with video games? Hey, I think that video games made my coordination amazing and kept my reaction time sharp because you know it declines the older you get, but I think that mine's like, you know, Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, no, I I have really good reaction time. So like if something like flies at me, a boop. POV, you and the mean kid in the playground skip school. I wanna skip school and go to my house. What time is it? Oh yeah, the strip club is open. My mom's at work. Let's go. Uh, there were so many kids in school that would like try to force me to skip school with them. But like, I'd be like, what are we gonna do? Everybody's in school right now. Have you ever tried to like go to the mall or like do fun stuff while school is in? It's like a ghost town and it's creepy. Uh, that scares me. I was too good a kid. I got intimidated by breaking the rules. It's scary and I get this like feeling in my stomach that's like, oh. My mom sees me right now. My mom knows where I am. Johnny Boy here knows that. Because I'm going to be a famous yep. TikToker one day. You're going to be an absolute abuse that. nobody. So it doesn't matter if you go to jail. Is that my older sister? Hi, hi, hi. Never mind. It's just a chihuahua. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to play Mario Kart. We're going to eat all the bananas we want to. Hi, mom. Um, oh, we just no. came here to pee. Well, time to walk back to school. Ooh. What a waste of time. You could have stayed in school and learned things, Johnny boy. There's more to do at school. Like everybody's there. You're not like missing out on stuff that you have to catch up on later. Kids are like, oh, I hate school. I can't wait to be out of school. And then they become an adult and realize, oh wait, I can't see a bunch of my friends every day now. I wish I appreciated school more. It's harder if there's kids that like tease you. Like I understand why wanting to get out early that way, but like still, even then, like there's something going on when you get out in the real world, it's just like, ugh, like, it's awfully quiet. Listen, I haven't seen another human in so long, let alone, you know, people my age. I loved school for that reason, but Johnny, congratulations, you played yourself. How to skip school and pretend you actually went. Get dressed in something you usually wear to school, grab your book bag, sneak out through your window, walk to the front and open the door, pretend like you're just getting home. What? So you, you, you get packed for school and then you go out and do whatever. And then when school ends, you just go home like. I don't know what school this guy goes to, but if I missed school, the office would call my house and be like, where is she? Like, where is Cassie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that doesn't work, fam. This is gonna fail. This is gonna fail. Like, do not listen to this guy's tips. It only works if you go to a school with 20,000 people. They can't keep track of that. That's true. Like, it only works if it's like university, but this, like elementary, middle school, high school, doesn't work. Speaking of university, I have so many dreams still where I have an exam in a university course and I didn't go to the class all semester. And the amount of anxiety that fills me with is unbearable, Cassie. That is so funny how you just said that because I constantly have dreams like that too. Well, not constantly, but like once every like four months, I wake up in a cold sweat because I like didn't study. There's a test. I'm like throwing my life away. It's like a lack of control dream. It's It's crazy. horrible. I hate it. When will it stop? My dad Dad says he's still got those dreams at like 45, so I'm not excited. I don't really want to go to science, do you? No, really, no. Do you still have that whipped cream you stole from her mech? Yeah, but like I ate half of it. Okay, well you should down the rest of it and do that weird throwing up thing that you do outside <gasps> of the classroom and then I'll run out and pretend like you need help and then we can leave. Ah, that is smart! That is equally morbid. Miss, I think Chloe's sick outside. Really? And how would you know this? Well, like, I think. I'm not, like, 100% sure. That's why I was gonna go see and see if she needed help. No, you stay in your seat. Seeing as just yes, teacher, she knows! No! 
No! Yo, see, this person shouldn't be skipping school so much. Maybe they'll start using the right yours in their descriptions. I feel like it would only work if it was completely out of character for you to skip in the first place. The teachers know the sly, the slick, you know, little... You know, the people trying to pull a fast one. They know the dynamics. Like, if you or two are like the little girls that giggle in the back and then one of them gets sick and the other goes, can I go check on her? That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I think you should never skip school for one reason. If you skip once, you're gonna feel like you can skip every single day and it just becomes like a downward spiral. So like, I just feel like you shouldn't even skip once. And then you become stupid and you end up in a Robert Eddie K video for doing something dumb. <laughs> Jacob here is skipping school. Ain't this cool? Hold your sign down. I will let's not see your skip face. school again. Come on, boys. Let's show yourself. Oh, ain't that a pretty fella? I mean, that's not even that embarrassing. Yeah, this is boring. <laughs> it's just so boring. Like, the most boring thing ever. This is a news story about a fifth grader. Tomorrow morning, a fifth grader named Tyler Sullivan from Rochester, Minnesota, is going to have to convince his teacher, one Mr. Ackerman, that he, Tyler, had a very good reason for missing school on Friday. Fortunately for Tyler, he may have the best excuse note in the history of excuse notes. He's a good kid. Okay, he's a good kid. Well, then what happened? That's Tyler when he should have been in class. Oh! And that's the President of the United States. Oh, this Tyler is real! To meet Barack Obama. And he says, hi, Tyler, you must be out of school then. And that's when Obama reached for pen and paper. And pardon him? Do you want me to write an excuse note? Yo, photocopy this as many times as you can. Please excuse Tyler. He was with me, Barack Obama, the president. Oh, okay, okay. He shouldn't have put the principal's name because then that kid could have reused that the rest of his life. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he should have just been like, dear teach, let him out. You know the principal was like, oh, thanks, Billy. Uh, I'll be taking that. And Billy's like, no, that's my note from the president. <laughs> You know they had a, a bidding war over that note. <laughs> well, it's rightfully mine. I am the principal. How else am I going to know? We talked about strategies in the past that wouldn't work. This one, I think it would. There he goes. Robert, thank you so much for making me laugh and coming and being on my channel again. I missed you. Oh, Cass Cassie, I missed you too. And you know what I don't miss? Huh? School. No, I'm just kidding. It's kind of nice. Guys, stay in school. Be good to your teachers and they will be good to you. And then, hey, you don't have to stay back a year and go again, you know? Okay, this is an after school special now. What do we do on your channel, Robert? On my channel, we're going to look at some crazy teachers, okay? Mm -hmm. Really get those back to school juices flowing and make you really look forward to it. I'll see you there, Cassie, and I'll see you there. Yeah, make sure you go over there because it's going to be a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Say bye, Robert. Peace.